started it. <laughs> well, hi, hello, everyone. How y'all doing today? Welcome back to another episode of Out of Fluff. I actually have a guest, special guest here for the twelfth episode. You want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Patricia. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> What else am I supposed to say? <laughs> yeah. Hello. Patricia here. She is uh, one of my very, very close friends, as in AKA my girlfriend, <laughs> Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she decided that she was going to actually do the episode with me. So, no. We're here. I asked. <laughs> we're here. <laughs> but yeah. You ready for this? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Nah, it'll be it'll be all good. We'll see. But no, nah, I mean, we can go ahead and just tell them about what's been happening this month. I mean, for me, it's just mainly I finished uh, for one of my games. I finished uh, one of like the concepts. I finished all the concepts that I wanted for the game. So now I'm on the part of learning Blender. So I'm about to just do basically like three. 3D modeling. I'm going to start off doing environments because I'm not really good with characters and anatomy and shit like that. But yeah, that's why I'm doing the math. And then I'm probably going to hire somebody to do the characters. I'm not, I'm not doing all that shit. But I don't know why my character is built the way that it is. What? What do you mean? What's wrong with your character? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I forgot how she looked. This is what she looked like. Show me. Uh, let me see here. What is that? <laughs> what is that? that Never like... mind. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I forgot it's your friend. Her. Oh. Yeah. That's what she looks like. I'll put a picture on there just to show y'all so y'all can see as well. I, I mean, want to do, do like a little side view. Look. Loki, it looks like I have a bob, like a like a bob haircut. You don't. It's a bun. Damn, I don't even put my hair in a bun. All the other hairs just look like they were whatever, and this one, this one just matches. Look at it. Just because you're trying to make it look Mexican, huh? Yeah, I might make one of the maps Mexican too. I'm gonna say it's your hometown. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. But yeah. How would you even draw it out if you've never even been? What do you mean? You've never been. I don't need to go there, but I can be there. What? Yeah. I don't need to go there, but I can be there. We have Google Maps. It's not the same. You need to experience it. It is. We're yeah, but go. I can use like pictures and go. photos. Let's go to TJ. Look, I've been thinking about it. Going to TJ? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, when? Tomorrow. Damn, we broke. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's in Mexico, Mexico. You're like rich as fuck. I mean, I just went not that long ago. And what did I take? I didn't even take that much money. And I still came back with leftover money, which is crazy. And I feel like I was pretty out and about. I was thinking about you saying that you went to TJ. I was like, when the fuck did she go to TJ? <laughs> Never mind. Forget it. Yeah. I forgot I also that she went thought, there. I also thought of going to San Diego. But I remember last time we went. I don't know when we went. And it was like still cold at night. I remember, no? Didn't, didn't the last time the last time we went, what month was it? I don't know. I thought the last time that we went was in uh was in May. Last May? Yeah. Actually I think so, right? Because it was for like y'all's birthdays. Yeah. Oh shit. Was it last May? Yeah, so we haven't been in oh, about like a Oh yeah. Year. Yeah, because that was before I quit. Then my... we need to go. That was before I quit my, not my last job, but the one before that. Yeah. We need to go. 
Yeah, I thought about going, but then I was like, fuck, I kind of forgot we're going to Florida. So I'm like, when should we go if we're going to go to Florida? Mm. Yeah. I don't know. But back on topic, though, what, what's been going on with you this past month? I mean, it's pretty fucking obvious. What day is it? Is it Saturday? Anyway, I thought it was a weekday. But what? <laughs> I thought it was a weekday. Um, the past month, does that mean like July? Basically from, say, like half of June to now. Um, well, I don't have a job anymore. Since like June 20 something. And yeah, and it's weird because I have worked since I was a child, basically. And I haven't been working. This is what, my third week that I haven't worked? Yeah, this is what's called uh, experiencing life. And then and what's crazy is I still don't fully feel relaxed, which is insane. Like, there's very few moments where I feel like I'm relaxed. And it's crazy because I have no job to go to. So that's insane. But yeah. Yeah. Could it be me, though? Yeah, I know. You gotta, I know. You relax. I know. You don't have a problem doing that. Must be fucking nice. It, it really is. Anyway, on the next yeah. episode, I will have another job. No, I'm just kidding. Maybe. I don't know. It depends. It needs to be right. Yeah. <clears throat> like, I know I can get another one with, like, amazing pay, but it's not. It's like a boopy office, and I don't want to do that. So, nah. yeah, that's my update. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. And one that's, like, together is that we started going to the gym. Oh, uh, yeah. We did start going to the gym. We actually started this week on Monday. Yeah. They did pretty good. I mean, three out of five of the days. Yeah, and then one so. day we went to the beach, and we walked, I would say, like, two miles and one mile i felt like was like in the sand yeah no nah, we that, <laughs> so that i'm was, gonna that count was that four days actually yeah i'm gonna count that as a workout because yeah. i feel like my legs hurt after that so day. we just didn't work out yesterday yeah but but, but we still walk our dog twice a day so that's still going outside and doing something in my opinion Actually seeing grass. I mean, it counts. <laughs> yeah. But no, I mean, that's really it. I haven't been much. Yeah. No. I think the other thing, um, we started going to the beach a lot more. Oh, yeah. Like, I think we go to the beach, I would say, like, once or twice a week. Yeah. I had to cut out the... For, like, guys, y'all know, for, like, the inside the swimming trunks, you have, like, our own little, like, underwear. Dude, I had to cut that shit out. I fucking, the beach that we went to, it ended up, every time the waves hit us, the sand would get inside. <laughs> so, like, I would just be, like, having a fucking diaper, is like, you know, like a fucking shit of, like, a diaper. <laughs> a field of, like, sand right there. It felt horrible. So, no, don't, don't get those. If you're going to the beach, just... Wear, like, basketball shorts or some shit if you don't have, like, swimming trunks without those. I cut them out. It was way better the last time we went to, went to the beach. Way I don't better. know. I think also the last, this past time we went this week, the waves were so much better. I don't know. I'm still very scared of waves, but we went the week before on the weekend, and the waves were insane, but we low-key forgot there was, like, a tropical storm going through like Mexico and then we're like over there trying to go to the beach like dumbasses and then we were shocked that the waves were like yeah. insane. But and I felt weather, bad. We don't get weather updates about like that though. Yeah and I felt bad because I took like my little like nieces and nephews and they hella got rolled by like huge ass waves. They man. deserve it. It was crazy they and then one it. of them just fucking kept throwing themselves and like 
these waves were like rolling everybody like every single one, person like one time he definitely oh no on, i i say on purpose he slung his head and hit that chick's ass with his head i wasn't gonna bring it up i was gonna bring it up so there was this it wasn't even a girl it was a mom you can tell she was a mom but she still had like a nice body and yes her like i mean i'm not blind so yeah her ass was huge and then my stupid little nephew thought yeah. it was well technically they're my cousins because their mom's like my tia but they're they're so young that i feel like i just feel like they're more like my nieces and like nephews. Thing. it's weird but you just say like nieces and nephews and that's you keep it rolling yeah because it's, it's like weird age. it's weird because like my tia's more around my age which is fucking typical mexican shit but anyway that's not the point what was i saying you was talking i don't know i forgot yeah you started talking about something i don't know i have no idea i don't know why i brought them up oh but anyway yeah they got oh no no about him what he did oh, and then yeah. he kept throwing himself in the way but i know he saw the lady because the lady was like right there right next to us and the next thing you know he like throws himself into this big crazy wave and the wave throws him exactly to where his face literally slapped the lady's ass like his whole fucking face and then he just fucking kept he let the wave basically take his body supposedly <laughs> and then he fucking kept rolling forward and then he let his body roll like a dumbass like he tried to play that shit off <laughs> and i'm like dude i i was like i hope i'm not the only one who saw this shit happen right now <laughs> thankfully but I think um, me and, and him were, like, the only ones that seen it. Because I looked around and nobody was, like, fucking doing anything. And I was, like, he literally slapped the lady's fucking ass with his face. Like, how did so many <laughs> yeah. fucking people miss that shit? I don't know. I that, wish I had a camera. Hilarious. I wish he, I had a camera. He knew exactly what he was doing. Mm -hmm. That's why I told him afterwards. I was, like, yeah, you had a nice... You had a nice uh, pillow for, like, your cushion, huh? Or you had a nice cushion for your head, huh? He was like, <laughs> I know, I was dumb. Oh, God. And he's, like, I forget how old. I think he's, I think he's, like, eight. And I'm, like, what's wrong with eight-year-olds? Like, I wasn't thinking about that shit when I'm eight. You know, the whole, I think, like, the whole, like, cooties thing has just gone away. Yeah, like, I, I, like, I mean, I'm not around little kids as often as, it's like fucking obvious that i'm not but like i i told one of them like oh yeah like don't um don't play with i don't know who because i was like oh or don't go over there because the people over there have cooties or something like that and then like they just looked at me like what the hell are you talking about so i'm like i don't think that's a thing anymore no nah, i don't think so right because like they're they're a roblox generation now it's different yeah, because I'm like, what do you mean that they don't understand what cooties are? And I'm like, damn. Like, so they're they like, know how to skip. Oh, I know. That's crazy. Yeah, like Two these kids <laughs> don't even know how to fucking skip. I, I have to teach insane. them how to skip. And they were like, she's like, she just turned 11, I think. And the only one that knew was like the seven-year-old. Yeah, the youngest one knew how to skip. Yeah, but she, she's just different. Yeah. Is interesting is all I'm gonna say. But yeah, no, that's crazy. Yeah, I don't know. But, but anyway, I think it's really it. That's really all that's like happened, huh? Um. That oh the birthday party. Oh the God, I <laughs> I didn't really want to talk about it. We went to a birthday party, and yeah. just. It's funny because uh, it's the same long, nieces and nephews. Yeah, <laughs> it was long, their house. Yeah, long story long. Um, we went over for a birthday party during the weekend. There was a mechanical bull and alcohol. So you can imagine what happened with that. Yeah. We um, all just got flung. We, we, all, we all learned how to fly that day. <laughs> I am still, I'm literally still recovering, I feel. Like, I had a bruise the size of my head on my knee yeah it, there was like no padding no like there wasn't a saddle on there it was just a 
little like <laughs> blanket and that was it. Yeah. So it was bad. And the problem was is that they let the they let the kids control it. <laughs> they were like, yeah, go ahead. So the kids was controlling it, throwing us around. Yeah. Well, I and be like, oh, that was only on. But he said he said it was only on like two two, and he put it all the way up to like eight. Yeah, I think Loki. <laughs> I'm gonna send him some of the videos of people getting flung, so he can put them here if he wants to. Um, but yeah, those fucking little kids, like they would, they're like C check before you get on, and as soon as you get on it, they twist it to like the max. And then first, or first they'll start slow, and then out of nowhere, they'll blast it, and then you fly off, and imagine, like, and then I think the rule, well, I don't know who made up the rule, I think it was me, huh? Yeah, it was you. Yeah, so apparently I, (coughs) apparently I made up a rule that each adult, before getting on the bull, needs to take a shot. Because I'm like, if the bull's there, no, I said once, for the entry. And then people kept taking them after. That was above me. I said for entry. And then they kept doing it. So I don't really know. Like that. To me, that's out of my control. Like I don't. If people want to drink, they're going to drink. So anyway, the rule in the beginning for your first bull ride was you had to take a shot. So each adult took a shot before they got on the bull. And then they got on the bull. And then they got twisted and turned and I did like out. a whole backflip like that day like the first time I went on the bull that day I did yeah. like a whole backflip I didn't see that one but also like he trusted those little kids as a test right so to me it's like you you chose that life I didn't get on I that went shit on that bull four I times it's crazy mm-hmm. that I got this used to wearing shades you're wearing shades inside of a building right now so? You think you're cooler than me, huh? No, you do. <laughs> but anyway, since we've been using these, we should go ahead and talk about them. And all these bum ass companies now and their fucking pesticides and shit. Um, yeah. So I think I seen it on Twitter. I'm not calling that shit whatever the new name is. Okay, so I don't give a fuck. Um, I think I seen it on Twitter first and then on TikTok, but basically, I don't know what, like, you, like, university ended up doing, like, a series of, like, exams and tests on the concentrates that these, like, um, cannabis or, like, weed, um. There's little THC pins. Yeah, like, the electronic ones. And yeah. a lot of the brands came back testing positive for multiple um, harmful pesticides. So, yeah, so that's now, pretty crazy. Yeah. So basically, now like so many, so many of them got hit. It feels like whenever we go to like dispensaries now that they don't have really much of anything. Like, when you went in there, what, you said it was, like, empty or something like that? Yeah, like, the one that we go to. And then also, I mean, we try to do our best to go to, you know, the most le- the most legitimate ones that we um, have found. And we really have only been going to one this whole time. And we haven't gone to any other ones. No. Um, no. So... I mean, we keep saying that we were, and we've moved also, and they, like, but we still go to the same one. Anyway, that's not the point. But yeah, they, I, when I went like this week, they didn't have a lot of things. And then the girl's like, oh, I think we're getting a shipment like this week. But I don't know. Like, I'm so sorry. Like, you can tell she was like low key embarrassed because like there wasn't really much like as far as like for these types of like products. Everything else, it seemed that for the most part was pretty normal. And then actually some of the, a lot of the gummies were out too, which. Yeah, that's crazy. It's like. Probably wouldn't be surprised if that's also has pesticides. I should probably look into that. Yeah, probably. Because I mean, like, man, it's crazy. And it's it's wild too, because it's like, 
you would go into a dispensary thinking like you know these are like basically professional we don't go on like one quote professional drug dealers how you gonna be a professional drug dealers with no drugs you got you got one thing that that's just wild but not nah. but we still use these the the ones that are actually in the stores right now are good basically if you go to like a legit store yeah but i think it's also like worth um looking into like before you buy or trying your best <clears throat> to look into it before you do buy it just because you want i mean i would think that everyone would want to buy something that doesn't have all that like disgusting um, shit that your body doesn't if pest what if what if pesticides could be able to give you superpowers though would you still would you get no them? they would not give you superpowers what if though no what uh, if they could be able to give you superpowers no. they would not give you superpowers I, if they could i would do it if they could then that'd be different but they don't that's what i'm saying if they could but they can't what they can't give you superpowers Imagine though, if pesticides can give you superpowers. Yes. I don't think that's the way it works. What? <coughs> what? I don't think that's the way it works. I don't think that they can do that. Can I imagine it? That's what we're talking about. Imagine. You want me to imagine if? Uh Imagine pest. if <laughs> pesticides <laughs> was what gave is, humans superpowers. Who the fuck would think that? I did. Just now. And I immediately already thought I would do it. I want to see what superpower I get. What, you think this is like a... Yeah. Like a wheel of fucking yeah. fortune or some shit. Yeah. Superpowers. Yeah. What are you? Next thing you know, you're gonna be like, I'm gonna let the spider bite me and see if I turn into Spider Man. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> what? That's crazy. Mm mm mm. So you gotta use your. You know, actually, that I think about it, how come? How come there's like in the whatever what do you call those movies like superhero movies yeah what about them <laughs> what how come spider-man turned into spider-man because he got bit by a spider but did batman get bit by a bat <laughs> what <laughs> I mean, no. no, I'm saying, like, how come that's not his story? Because Batman, oh my God. Why isn't, how come Spider-Man gets to be bitten by an animal? Batman can't have the same story. They should change it. They Batman, should change it so Batman can get bit by a bat. Batman is actually a vampire. Did you not know this whole time? I thought he was a bat. He's a Batman. <laughs> like what? Really? Oh no, he's not. He's oh my goodness. He's a he's a rich dude, and he was scared of bats, and he basically was conquering his fear of bats, and then he he decided he wanted to be a superhero and named himself Batman. I know, but I'm saying that they should change it to him getting bit by a bat. No. Yeah, like they can just add a ba bite in there. Ba they can add a bite in there. What? For what? Just to have the same effect. And then they should make like a wolf man and then a guy getting bit by a wolf. And then they should just go down the line with all the fucking animals. And then so how they would should a, make how an would animal a slug movie. Do it? I don't know. I don't know. You got too far for me. I was going to start basic. 
like a fish or like a shark or a gorilla. But we already have King Kong, so <laughs> I don't know. Why are we talking about this? I'm just <laughs> I'm uh, uh I'm a <laughs> I'm a loss of words. <laughs> but Why I, did a Batman get bit? That's as like his main thing, like be, Spider-Man. That's going to be the title of this podcast. Why didn't Batman get bit by a bat? Argue with me. <laughs> Argue with me in the comments. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to get canceled for that. This is my only episode, so... That is wild. Yeah. That is. I don't, I don't really care if I get canceled. Go ahead. We're about, to, we're about to end up going through a whole bunch of superhero movies. So you can understand. I understand. I'm just trying to propose an addition to the existing story. Dude. An addition to the existing story. If you think about it, though, and the... Uh, what was it? Batman Begins. Then when he was in like the little cave or something like that, when you first seen the bites, the the bats, the bats did like go around him. Did and you just him. say the bite? <laughs> Is that where you got stopped? At? Is that it? That that's 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 where your ears stopped at. Huh? <laughs> there was no stop sign right there. I don't know why your ears stopped driving. I was like, did what? The bite. <laughs> <laughs> what bite? Oh my god! <laughs> bite the what? You know what? Bite the bat? We're just we're we're gonna go into the next topic. <laughs> we can, we will be here for hours. Trust me, we will be here for hours. Look, he's like, when are you gonna come on my podcast? Yeah, but I didn't know that she was gonna say that. <laughs> What is who was I gonna say? I don't know. I don't know either. I didn't. I didn't think that you thought that Batman I don't, was supposed to get like bit. No, I don't think. Look, listen, Linda. I know that that's not the original story. I'm saying that they should add it to that story. Like, why didn't he have that in his story? It makes what would be sense. the purpose of it? So he can be a bat. But Batman doesn't have superpowers. I know. So then they can finally give him superpowers. No. <laughs> yeah. So then that means I can be Batman then. Oh, you want to be Batman? Yeah, fine. Batman. <laughs> I'm Batman then since I don't have to get bitten by a bat, then I'm Batman. If you I ever what? come back, I'm going to be There's calm. a... If I ever come back, I'm going to be dressed as Batman. There's different requirements to be Batman, okay? First off, you need a 850-plus credit score. So that's that's in a different bracket. There you go by tiers. We're in this lower tier. We don't even get to see the higher numbers. Then you just, I don't know, you, you got to have money. You don't have enough money. No. That's because I don't want to work at a booby plane. No, no, no. His his money spells out the word money. Our money is like you know, we're like a we're like kind of like dust. <laughs> that just we're we're like the cash of whatever the fuck that just spelled out. That's that's what we are. Yeah, I made a topic. Well, this next topic is basically like as I was laying in bed, you know. Levitating. This oh, shut the <laughs> fuck. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna exit the chat. This bitch. He does not levitate. He doesn't levitate. No. I was basically thinking of maybe like, in his fucking dreams, but some of the craziest ways that you can make it out of the hood. And this is directly like none of this is really like any like you know you have to have basically kind of almost no morale to do most of these you know you don't really give a fuck you just gotta you just gotta do it honestly but some of these would actually be pretty funny i think the first one would definitely be pretty funny 
which is voice acting over hentai and just make it into like a memeable thing just Ooh. make it funny but then the next one is definitely um drawn furries you know what a furry is I think that um, you explained it to me once, and I didn't like it, so I think I erased it from my mind. Oh, do you want to know again? Um, not really. Well, I mean, I just the all that I the all that I understand is that it's people that are special that dress up like animals. And what they do as they're dressed up is uh, that's where I, it's a little gray for me, and I would like to keep it a little gray. But yeah, that look, old dude. I remember I seen a video before, and this was like during COVID. Old dude was definitely talking about he draw those, and he was like getting people for like commissions and stuff like that, and he was averaging around like. Twenty thousand dollars a month or some shit like that. That's crazy. Like if if you're okay with doing that, then I would say go ahead and do it. I could never do that shit. That is wild. But if they're getting paid like that, then go ahead. I would jump in there. Um, but I couldn't do that. Yeah, I. I would be nowhere near that ever. I think I would I would for sure choose something else. For sure. Yeah. Like we got another one that's uh what is it? Snitching. Would you snitch? Um what is and it? I think it depends because um it de- to me, it depends what it is, and I know people are going to say, like, oh, my gosh, she really said that, but um, look, there's a spider, like, right there. You see it? Know. I'm going to go be Spider-Man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, it depends what it is, because I don't know if it's, like, I don't know, like, I want to say if it was, if I was at my last job, and like someone did something and i didn't fuck with them and then they try to fuck with me and then they thought i don't know i guess it depends because i don't know i, don't know. I would i do it it depends what it is but like I don't know, because sometimes, because people are like, oh, I don't want to throw anybody under the bus, but I'm like... If I don't know you, I'm going to snitch on you. But I'm like, is it doing it, though? If I'm telling, like, the truth? I don't know. It's it's weird. I don't know. People are weird, but... I don't know. Yeah. If, I, if I do know you, then it depends on if I like you or not. If I like you, then I won't snitch on you. But if I don't like you, I'm going to snitch on you. And then I'm going to say even more shit that's probably lies that would end up going along with it just so they can stamp more on it. And then, um, And if I don't know you and I just happen to see, then it is what it is. Like, I'm not going to go out of my way to snitch. Yeah. But if they came up to me and asked me about it, and then the first thing I'm going to be like, how much money? Because honestly, that's info. And uh, my info is never free with cops. So they would have to pay me. Oh, I, I didn't know that we were like talking about in terms of like ops and shit. I I'm thought- talking about like, like for like snitching on like for like anybody. That's why I was like going through like criminal? different people. Like criminal shit? Maybe like criminal shit. It can be like just snitching on whatever. You snitch on your neighbor for having a car parked wrong or whatever. Oh, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like it's just like in general. Like if, that's what I say. If I if I know you and I like you, then I won't snitch on you. But if I know you and I don't like you, 
I'm a snitch on you. And I'm going to add more shit that's probably a lie, but it may be true just to fuck with you. I get it now. Yeah. And then that's why I was like, for the strangers, it's like, it is what it is. Like, I'm not going to go out of my way, but if a cop comes up to me and is like, oh, did you see whatever or whatever, I'm going to be like, my information ain't free, bro. Yeah. The first thing I'm going to be like, how much are you going to pay me? I don't think that you can technically do that, though. Because I think that they could technically arrest you for gatekeeping information because that means that you're withholding evidence. I hate to ruin it for you, but... No, they still have to pay me. I mean, yeah, they'll pay you by not putting you in jail. No. I mean... Because how did I, how did they know that I was actually right there? What if I was just like walking up? Yeah, I mean you. Maybe, and then I didn't even really see. Maybe they in do. General. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. I don't know. Yeah. It depends. I don't know. It all depends. So if I don't like you, I'm snitching on you. If I know you. So. Anyway, you know who to stay away from, basically. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, that, um, this is kind of more, I haven't seen this, so I wouldn't know, like, how much it would make. But I know a lot of people like collecting cards. And a lot of uh, people are lonely and horny and shit. So you just make NSW... NSFW cards and just have them as like collecting cards. What is that? The not safe for work. Basically like nudity type cards or whatever. Oh. And then like teens will want to fucking try to buy those cards anyways because they'll be like, you know, boobs and shit like that. I wonder if that's a thing. Like, honestly, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. I mean, I don't, truthfully, like, I don't get, like, what, you know, men see in those things, but obviously I'm not a guy. There's even women that like them, too. I mean, I don't, I personally don't see it, but imagine, like, oh, look, I don't know, but anyway, back on topic, back, back on topic. Damn. You want to hear my box? Buy this fucking box. <laughs> Shit. I mean, let it, let it die in peace. Damn. Yeah, as long as it doesn't, as long as it doesn't gain life again. Now, what was you trying to say? I wonder if that's a thing, though, for the cards, because that's like a unique market, because that is so much more accessible than people carrying like a magazine and shit, which I don't even know if people really buy magazines and stuff anymore. I don't think so. But I don't know, you know, there's always those fucking old men that don't know how to use their phone that are so fucking perverts. Like, you know, those old fucking Mexican deals that are like lonely, the fucking nasty ass bitches. No, I don't know any of them. Yeah, fucking yeah, barri no. looking ass motherfuckers. I ain't got those. Shit, fortunately, <laughs> there's too many where we live. I got. Oh my god, actually. I remember now, there used to be a whole magazine stand in that shopping center. And now it's not there anymore. Yeah, people don't really get magazines like that. That's crazy. No, they used to have magazines. Or they get them like, or they'll have them in the mail. Yeah, they used to have magazines, newspapers, and I think CDs or something else. I don't know why you went all the way down that road for I don't know what reason. Me neither. Shit, I don't fucking know. I just, I'm just as confused as you are. Crazy, but the next one, <clears throat> fuck, right. The I next remember. one is basically if you buy, you buy land, right? Yeah. And then, but here's the thing: you buy land that has like a whole bunch of like trees and stuff like that. And then what you do is you just basically get go through, get it like a little fucking tree appraisal person or some shit like that. And they cut them bitches down. So you know like which trees would cost like how much or whatever. Cut them down. Clear the land. And then 
you can make it into like either like a farmland or you can have like a little uh uh what you call it how can i put it like a little it's not like a, like a little basically like a little neighborhood or whatever you can make like a little dead end and have like houses i'm because so you can, confused so say like if you buy like three acres of land right where wherever the fuck, where wherever the fuck that there's a lot of trees or whatever mm, there is no more trees what the fuck are you talking about yeah, there's no more trees in california <laughs> yeah i'm talking about it in a different state say like if you uh colorado yeah colorado you get like three acres of land in colorado right and it has like a whole bunch of fucking trees and shit yeah and you cut those trees down and sell those trees to get money off of those trees and like you clear the land and stuff then you can do whatever that you can like you know do on that land yeah you know that's legally possible or whatever the fuck. so you want or you could just so you, sell that land so you want to cut the tree yeah sell the trees buy land and sell trees and then after that you can do whatever the fuck that you want to do with that land or you why, can resell why that land. don't you just buy land that doesn't include killing trees you can plant new trees we should have more like fruit trees anyways you're part of the problem tree i cutter. am the problem tree cutter anyway you can just plant new trees mm, but that the point is to preserve the trees and plant new trees where there isn't trees not where there was trees hey I say we just fix it up and do something with it, or you could just sell it, and then somebody else can do something with it. How is that? How are you going to get the money for that, though? How are you going to get the money to buy the land? Hey, that's something that, like, you know, you no, save what up What the on. fuck? Yeah, actually, now when I'm really thinking about it, how is this a solution? This is not, uh, is this the yeah this is uh say it again say the topic again <laughs> say it again well there say it again i know i thought about it while i was laying in bed too but i didn't want to because erase it say say what the topic is again. yeah i know craziest ways to make it out the hood but so, if you just save up your money while you're in the what, hood what money is what i'm talking about hey what money look you think people that? people in the hood to make money and then I'm after they made that, that money they then they can end up doing that i'm not saying that they can't but best believe that if most people here had more money they would not live here i don't know, you think so some some people just just like it but other people they will move. Yeah, they will move. Hmm. Like, uh, just just if we're gonna go based off our blog, I would say, um, these neighbors, the ones to the left, for sure. Um, the ones to the right, no, they're too like. Those people that you don't really see go out of their house. Um, the people, um, the lady that's after the house next to us, I would say no, because she has money, but for some reason she likes to live here. I mean, it's not horrible, but there's definitely like way better areas that I know she can like live at because she got money yeah and then ben because he has money he can he literally lived kind of adjacent to where we used to live and where we used to live used to be like supposedly like high end or whatever it was to me it was just bs fuck him <laughs> but like that area and then he moved here and then like he's to me like he's not 
he wouldn't move away. But like I think if I buy a house. Yeah. Cause then we would have to move away. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, like, because you're you you're telling people like that's a way to get out, but I'm like the way to get out is also to just literally like if they had that access to that money, I don't even think they would wanna even stay here. They would wanna like buy somewhere else to live somewhere else. Yeah, but like Yeah, but it land here is definitely like hella more expensive. Oh yeah. Than land in other places. Yeah, that's true. So I think, like if you if you was to save up like, you know, a good amount of money here, like, you know, the little that you can save up. Because like, I feel like if you're here, you people can still save up more money than like in other places. So yeah. that's why you buy land in a whole different area that's like way far away. Like you can buy like land in like North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota or some shit like that, you know. Yeah. Or like fucking like southern states that's like some lands are like a hell of a lot cheaper. Yeah, I didn't think about that. I also didn't think about like how saying like doing that and then just putting money that way. Cuz at the same time some people do do that. Yeah. Because if I think about it like some of my family that can't even go back to their home country are still buying land in their home country and I'm like I'm not trying to be mean but like I would never buy land somewhere that I know I can never go back to. Or like it's not that I never could, but I know that I can't come back, so I know for sure I'm never gonna go. So like it doesn't make sense. And I know that they don't have all this excess money, so it's kind of like weird. So yeah, at the same point, like some people do do that. So Yeah. Yeah, I guess yeah. That's what I, I said in the beginning, like in a whole it. different area. That's why we picked Colorado in the whole beginning. Yeah. Because it'd be like for like people that's near like us. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes more sense than like. Like this isn't like something that like if you're like in Tennessee and you have like no minimum wage and like you're getting paid like hella low. This ain't for you, bro. Yeah. Like learn how to draw. Draw your furries. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a, it's a for you. I still think that's crazy. But like here. Fast food workers, 20, 20, uh, 20 a dollar, like minimum. I don't know. Um, I think, yeah, right. And then yeah, I think that's, that's, and it's 20... been up there though for like a long time, but now with that, I'm sure they even went like higher. Like, I think even like some in and out workers now make more than what I first started making when I like landed a job at like a fucking firm and that to me is insane like yeah, that like yeah. you can make more money like making food than like working at a firm that's crazy yeah so that's what i was saying like people here like they can get money like people just choose to live in like places to where it's like more expensive like more people could be living in like they could like share rooms or some shit they could fucking uh Go into like more of like studio apartments that are like cheaper and not like these like more expensive ass ones that you'd be seeing like all the time. Yeah, but I think that's part of like a lot of people's dreams when they move to he- like here. How the fuck did we get there? I thought I don't we were know. talking about like. I don't know how we got there, but it's true. Money. <laughs> Went into talking oh, about. Oh, yeah, no, because I'm because you're saying that they can move into like a studio or share rooms but part of like why people don't do that sometimes is because they want to give themselves this yeah but we're talking if people move in here they're not they're not moving to the hood we're talking about getting out of the hood that's why i mean granted hollywood is pretty ghetto but yeah but that's my point exactly like but they would still pay insane as rent that's some, that's something that they can like easily fix. Yeah, but they like don't. themselves. That's that's their problem. Yeah, so that's what they I'm they they choose to be like. We're talking about people that are is like you know we're trying to they're in the hood and they're trying to get out. Yeah. Not people that move to the hood because they they stupid, and then wants to stay there when they know that they can just leave at any time that they want. Yeah, 
No, That's they're, true. They're stupid ones. They're they're dumb dumb. We're talking about for people that's in the hood that's trying to make it out. I thought you were talking about like moving into something smaller. What? Yeah. I'm so confused. I'm very confused. You confuse yourself so much that you confuse me. I know. That all went from me just saying that you can buy land somewhere else, chop the trees, and then sell it or do something with the land. Because you can just basically pay, uh, what you call it, if you can like actually get like a, you can have like a farmer out there working basically for you. But who buys trees? Like who do you sell the trees to? All, all these manufacturers and stuff? But how do you do that? Like, you're like, that's, hey, that's you I think, have... That's, you, that's more... That's too deep. That's too deep for this. <laughs> like, you end up contacting somebody, basically. That's it. You don't need to get into the specifics of who is the tree man. <laughs> <laughs> like, who, who takes the trees? <laughs> like, no. Well, you're saying... You're because, giving idea, you're So you're giving half these ideas. Yeah, so they can look it up themselves. I'm not giving them the whole thing. Lazy motherfuckers, they gotta fucking look it up themselves. Hey, right, Google, how do how do I sell trees? <laughs> like, damn, that's crazy. Yeah, it's just a, it's just like a broad idea. I ain't getting into no deeps. Fuck that, they gotta think for themselves. Damn, fuck y'all. Damn, hoes. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get more detail. Fuck the hoes. What if I wanted the detail? And that's off. That's off. This we don't give it to them. I'm. I don't want the detail. I know the details. He doesn't. He's lying. He doesn't know who the tree man is. I do. No. But oh, and the next one is hacking corporations and then telling them. What does that mean? So like you can hack. Say, like, if you hack, like, Walmart, right? And then you tell them, basically, like, yo, I know how to hack into your system. And stuff like that. And then they will want to know how. And then they will pay to basically know how and then to get it fixed. So you're just out here being an evil person then it's not evil if you're just if you're testing their stuff and then you're telling them like yo i can get into it and they're giving you money for that then that's not being evil i mean yeah but then it's it's not like you're hacking in and you're stealing something from them no but then nobody's telling you to get in nobody yeah but Nobody. Companies do want to know. Nobody. <laughs> Companies definitely will want to know if their shit I, is able to get hacked in. I mean, I would so like, I would to, like to think that companies have their own people doing that on the regular day basis. I'm assuming that's what a smart company would have. But, you know, some people don't fucking have brains. So, I mean, they do, but they don't work. But obviously, it's a good idea, though. But how would you leverage that? Like, what if they're like, no, we're just going to fix it? They wouldn't know. Like, oh, no, we're just going to fix it, and then we're not going to give you no money. Because, well, you can be able to, because they'll want to prove, they don't want you to prove it, so then you'll prove it to them, and then they will want to know how. And then you're going to tell them how? Um, no, that's when you can be like, you know, you offer them <laughs> some money and stuff like that. Or usually they will probably just end up, you know, giving you money anyways for it because you ended up finding it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. P- people legit just like they will go around and just. Try to hack into different corporations. Who is people? People that you do not see. 
That's who. Why? Because they don't go outside. Damn. Grass is not a thing to them. Damn. I'm going to ship y'all some grass. That's crazy. <laughs> nah. Or that's what, you know, who does we kind of portray. Who? 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 There's a lot of people out there that know how to hack. If, I mean, I know, but who who does exactly the specific type of one that you're talking about? Who? 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 <laughs> what, are you trying to get names or something? <laughs> who? <laughs> No, I'm saying like. What? Who are they called? No, is like, like a who, group name? <laughs> No, like who has actually done it? I would want to know. Like I want to see someone talking about it or something. I don't know. You like, can just has, like Google it. Really? Google it. <laughs> Type it in Google. <laughs> That's what Google's for. <laughs> just type it in. How? <laughs> How? How do I type it in? Anyway, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna look it up afterwards. <laughs> he doesn't want to look it up right now because he types slow. Oh no! Nah. Anyway, do you guys want to talk about my keyboard? No, I'm just kidding. Nobody cares about your keyboard. Okay, well, fine. I don't want to talk about one, your stupid Walmart shit. The actually, this is the last one. <gasps> yeah, the the last one of this topic is. Uh, getting a 3D printer. It's not really crazy, huh. but yeah, get a 3D printer. And with like, with sell different what things. money? 3D printers. You can get a 3D printer for like a couple hundred dollars. They're not that expensive. I'm going to take a survey around here to see if people have a couple hundred dollars laying around for a fucking 3D printer. If you're going to get a 3D printer and then you're going to use it to make something and sell it online. You will be able to get money back. Ooh, should I do that? Oh, yeah, think about that. You thought about, it's just going to get a red. <laughs> I'm going to get a 3D printer. <laughs> and I do shit with it. <laughs> it's just going to sit there. <laughs> Honestly, I have some pretty good ideas. What ideas did you have? Shit, I'm not going to say them. I'm not going to say them out loud. You can try to steal my ideas. Who gonna steal your ideas? The world? You? Pri- primarily you? You think I'm gonna steal your ideas? Yes. Yeah. Why would I steal your ideas? Like I would make um a bag designed just to not a bag, but like a little holder just for you to hold straws. Yeah. I would 3D print that. Mm-hmm. For like what? Like taking straws on the go? Yeah. Oh, because you're getting tired of all the places having like paper straws, huh? No. It's just sometimes you want a straw and there's no straws. Or. A... So you going to a place and getting a drink with no straw? <gasps> sometimes. Sometimes some places don't have straws. And how <laughs> often does that happen to you? I mean. <laughs> like, let's. How often does that Sometimes happen? Sometimes I drink more than one drink and I want to drink them both already and I whip out my extra straw. Why don't you just use the straw that you was just using? Um because I like to alternate drinks. Sometimes I so, like to So you can't just take the straw out and put a different <laughs> and put the same straw in that different You're drink? You're not supposed to mix the drink. What? Yeah, because what if one is coffee and the other one's water? Or what if one is coffee and the other one's Coke? Or what if it's Coke and water? You don't never know. You, you never can, know. You can fling the straw. No, I'm not going to fling no fucking straw. <laughs> you, can, you can clean off the straw if it's that deep. Um, you can you lick anyway, the straw. Anyway, the other thing that I would 3D print is a phone case that holds your sunglasses. You heard it here first. But don't don't ask start asking questions. I just saying what I'm gonna do. No question. No question. Now the third thing that I would print now I just don't see that working out. It's gonna work out. I 
do not see that. You want to bet? Yeah, we can bet. I don't see that working out. How much? How much? How much? I know an exact design that would work. How much? I mean, I don't know how much you want to give up to me. We're poor. And I don't like to keep a lot of cash. So I'm going to say $20. Twenty dollars ain't gonna do shit. Twenty dollars. Make it, but how? Okay, but how am I gonna prove it to you? I don't have a three D printer. Get a three D printer then. No, that's too much. That's too much. I'm not gonna bet. I'm not gonna get it just to prove you wrong. Hey. But I do have the design work to work out. You wanna know my design idea? No, you. I want you to draw it for me. Okay. I'm a visual <gasps> learner. Look, you have a whiteboard right there. You yep. have a whiteboard right there, and I got you new markers. They're right there. I got Draw you it. new markers, so Draw you know it. that I that I get you shit. Now we're talking. Okay. So, actually, I can't see it. Anyway, look at the design, and then I'm gonna explain it. And then he's gonna take a picture of it, and then a picture. Yeah, and then he's going to pause the video or pause the video and look at it. Okay, bring it back so I can explain it because I can't see. I can't see. How did you have it? You just put it like that. But the mic's in the way. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try to explain it really fast. This is a phone. This is the back of the case. The back of the case has a magnet in the middle. This is a bag. It's a small bag um, that's very thin, and it opens like a flap, and then it's closed by a magnet. The back of the little bag has a magnet. That magnet connects to the back of the case, and it'll snap on to the back of your phone case, and so then you can have your phone, your case, and then your little sunglass bag that snaps with... um. What is that called? A magnet. So then you can just snap it back on whenever. And then it closes with a magnet. So it'll be easy to move it. So if you don't want to carry it, you can just take it off. That shit is not going to work. It's going to work. It's not going to work. That's wild. But yeah, no, that's, that's all the ones that I thought of. But there's probably like other crazier ones. Just think of like something that's like kind of like wild and then you can like look it up to see like if there is some type of market that would be into that and then just do it yeah especially if you have no like morales or shit like that crazy yeah but then the last topic i guess the last topic for you i don't know i would probably do the the I'll do the review later. We can talk about this music video, though. Oh. Okay. The the greatness of what we call um, K-Dot, uh, a.k.a. Um, Kung Fu Kenny, uh, a.k.a. Uh, Kendrick Lamar. King Kendrick. It was a fire-ass video. Yeah. I really like that video. That yeah. shit was crazy. And I honestly thought that he was going to drop it on the dates that they were talking about on Twitter. I thought that he was going to drop the music video on 616. Yeah. But he didn't. I was like, damn. But now it made sense for that whole party that happened. Yeah. I think that he thinks so much more ahead that it's insane because it doesn't in my opinion, I think, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but this is what I think, so I don't really give a fuck about what anybody else thinks about my opinion, because my opinion is nobody else's business, but I think that people don't, it doesn't really click into people's minds how far ahead he thinks until, like, it sits with them. 
like and they connect everything like because in the in the initially they were just like oh it's lit he's in the community like he's legit in the community he's not like fake in the community and then that's kind of what i felt that i got the most out of it in the beginning and then slowly but surely people started dissecting it and seeing like why strategically he dropped it when he dropped it why he was wearing like they're saying why he was wearing wide and like the whole yeah. ending of the video like it's insane yeah it's crazy and i feel like in a way i know everybody especially like where we live like you hear it like all the time but i feel like even though it's in a way like it's it's everywhere i think so much more it, it felt almost as if you were listening to it for the first time again when you saw the video for the first time yeah no it was really nice and then plus that snippet in the beginning yeah so that album is gonna be fire when it comes out yeah that i wanted a way crazy. to bring that up but that has been like so like people are hanging on to that little beginning like few seconds like hella fucking hard like everyone's just saying like okay just drop it but then i seen this video yesterday of a radio host and i sorry i don't remember like her name but she was saying how part of what he said was that he's like reincarnated so then he's saying like oh we're gonna get a different version of him now yeah so that's crazy as well though the whole well he made it just like a whole banger of an album it's just bangers at the bangers at the bangers. I mean, I know that he can do it. Yeah. Oh, for sure. But the question would be like, would he though? I I think that he would, but I think he's gonna he's gonna let people still keep eating up this song because it is by no means dying down. I think it had a moment where it was kind of like on the same and then the video dropped and it skyrocketed right now, this back is up. like worldwide yeah like the whole fucking um what was it argentina yeah that's did the shit to drake saying not like us because yeah. drake uh betted against them yeah crazy so that's like on a that this has gone beyond the borders of like rap for sure yeah but i think it's because in my opinion, Drake took it outside of it, and Kendrick told him, like, don't do it, and you're gonna... I think he went beyond, you're gonna fuck around and find out. And so now I'm, like, not even shocked that shit like that's happening, honestly. Yeah, no, and then the, the Drake fans are devastated right now. I, I don't know. I mean... They're... I think they're more in, like, denial. Yeah. Because, well, uh, I know this is going to be, like, for, like, a little hot take for people. But, I mean, like, I think you and me both agree, like, Family Matters was pretty fucking trash. Yeah. That shit, like, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a fan of whenever Drake raps like that. Like, his his speed, the way that he was rapping, it just, it didn't, it didn't sound like it fit like him. It sounded yeah. like he was trying to be somebody else. Yeah. And, and everybody it, is like, oh, it goes hard, it goes hard. Like, yeah, it goes hard. But it doesn't go for his person, for who, like, he is. Like, he doesn't, that's not how he sounds in most of his, like, his songs. That's not yeah. what he gives off. And I think the problem, because I feel like Kendrick plays a lot with his own voice and his tone and how he says things a certain way, and maybe you can accuse him of the same thing, but I don't think it's the same because... He does it in a way that he still fits in that role. And I think when Drake did that song, I'm like, you're not even being authentic to your own self. This is not even you. Like, you're not known to do this. You're very strictly known for a specific type of, you know, rhythm. And then you're trying to go outside of that rhythm to make someone else look bad. Like, yeah, you should stick to what mostly works for you because that shit definitely did not work for him in my opinion yeah no like in my opinion i thought the hard part six was better it's just it was horrible lyrics and they was just basically saying no the whole time yeah but his if you look at it for his flow wise and everything like that that sounded 
more like Drake than like yeah. almost any other other songs. That yeah, that was more his. And in mind you, I've never been the biggest fan of his, even like way before. But that was more in his realm of rhythm. But also what he was saying was just like, kind of like, I'm going to throw everything out there and see what fucking sticks. Is kind of what that gave me. So I don't know. Yeah. But. Yeah, the video is, I don't know. And then like the crazy part, like the picture of Drake at that white party like homeboy looks like he aged like 20 to 30 years he's stressing yeah like he's He's stressing he not to be rude because i mean i'm not the youngest person either anymore but he he looked very different in that picture yeah He, he going through it and then and then not those trying other to be pictures like, beforehand with it, like him like going to like the little farms and stuff. Yeah. Making it seem like it's more like family man and stuff. Yeah, like that's crazy. And then low key, low key, I feel like Kendrick kinda had like a low key like now all of a sudden all these girls like are being like, Oh yeah, like he he's like low key cute and I'm just like, What? Like all of a sudden, like you guys are like bringing up his look so it's kind of crazy like because usually it was kind of like i don't know that i heard a lot of girls say that before about him in my opinion but i just think it's crazy like how and then i think a lot of women went more for jake yeah for what i guess he's saying but also like his looks right so he's light skin that's why i'm like oh the fact that he looks like he aged 20 to 30 years and like how long was that? That was over what, like a month? The whole thing, what, a couple months, like three? March? Started like at the end of March. But no. I don't remember. Yeah, sometime actually. in March, because like that, it was, it, like that wasn't like the start of the whole thing, but it is when it started like from this, for this year and then going forward. Yeah. Or when did a uh, first person shooter come out? Was it was it back in twenty twenty three? No, I don't think so. You wanna look it up? Yeah, twenty twenty three. October. Yeah, so it was October twenty twenty three. Cause that and that's when this uh for all the dogs came out. Mm. So yeah. Well, so it was back in like twenty twenty three, so like like that was basically the start in like twenty twenty four. Yeah. But I think overall I really, really like the video. I um like that he actually went into the community. I know that that's what he was gonna do. Um and I just like the feeling of the what the video makes you feel when you see it. Like I don't know, it kinda makes you it's kind of nostalgic, even though it's happening like right now. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's one of those, uh, basically, uh, already like a certified classic, and it just dropped. Yeah, it it dropped. Basically, like they dropped a classic, and that's what he did. He just yeah. dropped a classic. Yeah. Which is pretty wild. Yeah. Yeah, they had everybody in there, except for except for Bobby. But Bobby was there though. Yeah, it's crazy because you could literally pull up and be in the video because that's basically what people did. It just pulled up. Yeah, that traffic must have been crazy. You you must be glad that like it's out of nowhere. Mm, I don't know because you also have to think about all the people that just live there that probably just walked up. Yeah, I'm talking about like the freeways. Oh yeah, no. Honestly, I don't know to what extent people went out of their way um, to to go, but yeah. There was a shit ton of people there, though. So I yeah, like a there lot was. of people must have went. Yeah, I think the other problem was, too, is... Well, not the problem, but the other thing people were saying is that, like, they didn't... Like, he just popped out of nowhere and started recording, and then people were... It was just word of mouth at that point. So yeah. it wasn't like he made it purposely. He, like he knew people. 
like that's how you know in my opinion that you're really like from there because you don't have to make it a big deal you know people are going to show up and show out in my opinion but i mean i don't know if everyone's going to think that way but i don't really care because not everybody understands that's just crazy but <clears throat> really that's like it yeah that's like it for the episode and how you feel I feel like I started talking about random shit. <coughs> yeah, you fucking did. <laughs> but yeah, but thank you all that tuned in. I appreciate it. Uh, of course, you know, you're welcome to come back whenever I don't have, like, a guest and you're like, yeah, I'll join. I'll be like, yeah, cool. Uh, I'm trying to get, yeah, I'm trying to get more guests. Okay, um, but if I come back, I have to pick what we're doing completely. Like, I'm going to control it. Why? <laughs> what? Yeah. That's crazy. Um, comment down below if somebody wants me to control the next episode that I'm on. <laughs> As well. But yeah, thank you everybody. Peace. Peace.